We're gonna go from deep outer space to deep inner space. <laughs> so before we get going, I'd like you to just take a moment and scan your bodies and see if you're comfortable in your chair. I know, we've been sitting a long time. And frankly, being in this school auditorium kind of reminds me of being in a school auditorium. <laughs> and being told, sit very still, pay attention, and don't fidget, right? But I want you to know that if you need to rearrange your body, maybe uncross your legs, put both of your feet flat on the floor so your sacrum is comfortable, check in, see if your organs have room to move, maybe give yourself a nice breath. Please, fidget as much as you like. In fact, the word fidget comes from a Nordic word that means to desire eagerly. And sometimes when we're feeling fidgety, it's not because we're bored or we're impatient or we're sleepy. It's because our bodies are uncomfortable and they're trying to get our attention and they want to move. So please, fidget. Our bodies were made to move up, down, all around 360 degrees. This is how the architecture of our body was created. We can stand with our feet planted and see all the way around us. This is amazing. Our bodies were made to move this way. Our eyes were made to look out wide onto the horizon for predator or prey. But in the last 20 years, we've begun to see a shift in the evolution of our species. Computers have become more affordable and more accessible since the mid-1990s, and as a result, we now sit more and move less. But our eyes and our bodies were meant to be open and wide. Our children's bodies that were meant to run and jump and leap and play and spin and roll, our children now spend hours hunched over, pushing tiny little buttons. And they call this playing. Yeah, it's very sad. So this is where we are now. This is actually sad. <laughs> this is the shape we find ourselves in. So the idea that I've come to share is that every day, at least once a day, we push back from our computers, we step away from our desks, we get out of the car, we turn off the TV, and we incrementally move through our bodies and make sure that they still move in all of the directions that they were meant to move in. Now, some people call this dancing. And I know that there tend to be two different camps when it comes to dancing. There are people that love dancing, and I certainly hope that there are some in the audience. <laughs> Yay. And then there are other people that don't love dancing. So what I want to say right now, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thank you for being honest. What I want to say right now is before you run screaming from the room, the everyday dance that I want to bring to you today is not about choreography, but rather curiosity. There will be no steps to learn. I will not make you count. And you do not even need to know your left from your right. <laughs> the everyday dance is about pleasure-based movement rather than performance-based movement. Now, we all know that there are a lot of wonderful benefits to dance. Some are obvious. We are able to move our bodies 360 degrees as they naturally want to move. There's great cardiovascular benefits to this. We can even shift our mood by choosing certain music and certain genres. But the most powerful benefit of dance is very subtle because it gets under the radar of our mind. Dancing is actually an act of trusting our bodies and giving them permission to speak and to move any way they want. When we dance, we reverse the flow from top down, from the head driving the body. Pick up the kids, make dinner, get on the treadmill, get the ball, get the ball, get the ball. Yeah, right. We're always driving our bodies. When we dance, we allow the bodies to speak up, and we listen with great curiosity. So, in this way, it's an act of trust. And when we trust our bodies and we give them permission to move any way they want, we come deeply into knowing ourselves. And this, in fact, becomes a moving meditation, because it brings us into the present moment. Our bodies are always in the present moment. 
It's only our minds that can jump forward and backward in time and space. So I'd like to show you what this meditation is like in just three minutes. So please help your neighbor to standing. Come on, you know you want to do it. Yeah. So we're just going to let our feet be a natural width apart. Just let yourself shift. I know it feels good, doesn't it? Already. Ooh, I see breath. Yeah. Right on. So we're just going to start with a little shifting of weight and you'll hear some beats. And you can pick whichever beat you like. There's some fast beats. The beats are coming. Yeah, we got the beats. Yeah, there they are. So just let your feet feel that beat. I'm just going to get comfortable too. Is that all right? Yeah. So let your feet just find that beat. The body can be relaxed and loose. We're going to take a nice breath. Because breath makes everything better. (laughs) And we're going to start right at the top of the head. And we're just going to let the head roll around the neck. Hmm. And do this so that it feels good. Yeah, just like that. And already you can see that the shoulders, they want to come in and they want to move and they're speaking to you. So let the shoulders move. (laughs) I know it's very tight where we are, but this proves that you can do this dance anywhere. Don't tell me you can't do this at your desk if you can do it in this auditorium. So. We're going to bring the elbows in, meet your neighbors. Hello, neighbor. Hi. Hello, neighbor. Hi. Nice to meet you. And your neighbors behind. Hello. The neighbors behind. Hello. Yeah. Now we're going to bring it down into the heart. And we're going to let the heart rise and fall and bring breath into the heart. Ooh. Drop it down into the belly. Let the belly hang. Come on. You know you want to do it. Down into the hips. Let the hips move any way they want. They need it. Are your butts waking up again yet? (laughs) Let the hips open and close. Just listen to how they want to move and say yes to your hips. (laughs) And now give a little whispered yeah to your neighbor's hips. Don't let this one get jealous. Yeah. And down into the knees. Yeah, folding, unfolding, hinging, unhinging the knees. And then all the way down into the feet and the toes. And now let's bring it all the way up so that everything, everything is moving. Ah, lovely. Yeah. We'll let that come to a pause. And right there where you're standing, Right there while you're standing, take one more scan of your body and notice any places that feel as if they've moved. Hmm. And notice any places that feel as if they want to move more. And then come to the bash party, because tonight we'll move a lot more. I'll be DJing. So when we dance, we bring ourselves into the present moment. And so if you do the everyday dance just three minutes a day, that's at least three minutes a day that you were in the present moment. And that's a great idea because the present moment right here, right now, this is where life is happening. Thank you.